Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. Thank you. Narcissists are stupid. They lack wisdom and intelligence. They lack experience, knowledge and good judgment. Because everything they experience is through the grandiosity of their false character. They don't experience anything directly, which is how they lack the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. They deliberately make things unpleasant, which then repels people because it induces changes in their behavior via negative reinforcement. They're spiteful, greedy and sadistic, which is not intelligent behavior. It's actually very foolish and unwise it shows that they lack good sense and judgment because their behavior is likely to lead to a bad result. But they engage in this behavior because they fail to adapt positively to life and its challenges because they're not built to survive. They were never meant to make it this far. So they have to step on people to get ahead. Narcissists can sometimes act stupid and naive to where they will overlook obvious things, as though they are unable to make appropriate choices. When in fact they are skilled in achieving their objectives by deceit or evasion, because they are highly manipulative. So they often manage to get away with things to where they're not held accountable. While their victims will take the fall and the blame. When in fact, these are acts of stupidity because it results in them being devoid of qualities that make for spirit and character. And they only engage in these behaviors because they're not skilled or proficient at coping with life. So they design these survival strategies and coping mechanisms. They manipulate their environment to secure outcomes that are in their favor and on their side which then increases their belief in their ability to effectively perform certain tasks that are needed to attain a valued goal by exploiting, coercing or gaslighting other people. Narcissists are so stupid. They make so many mistakes and it's very rare that they do anything correctly, whether it's in their job or their relationships because they're constantly misinterpreting and misjudging people's demeanor or behavior to where they form a wrong understanding. But sometimes they will pretend to be stupid to get you to lower your guard so that they can manipulate you and achieve their desired result. They will present themselves as a victim who is never at fault. They will make themselves seem less important than they really are so that they can manipulate and continue to interact with other people. While other times they may act grandiose, which impairs their ability to distinguish between fears and beliefs and actual reality. And it erodes their belief that they are able to effectively perform tasks to attain a valued goal. While they still believe that they are special and unique, and if other people don't see it, it's because they're stupid. Their grandiosity distorts information that is coming from reality. The narcissist reframes this information. They change the way it is expressed or considered to support their conceptual or emotional outlook, which misleads people. Because by them being grandiose, they are fabricating a false reality and without them being connected to or have an extensive knowledge of reality, they can't act wisely. They can't act in a way that shows experience or good judgment and it impairs their ability to read people because they don't have empathy. So they have an inability to feel what another person feels and to share their experience, which means they fail in understanding, interpreting and identifying you and it reduces their capacity to achieve goals because they have no interest in working as a team. So they struggle to survive in a work environment and they have relationship difficulties 
because their grandiosity is limiting them. It makes them stupid because they cause people to feel isolated or estranged. They drive people apart. They arouse hostility and indifference in where there had formerly been love, affection or friendliness. They limit your opportunities and then they subject you to cold empathy and forgiveness because they have an unconscious tendency to repeat painful situations that occurred in the past. So they keep making the same mistakes, no matter how many times it puts them at a disadvantage because they keep judging and interpreting people's motives and behaviors incorrectly, which reveals a lack of intelligence. They also lack impulse control to where they have difficulty in stopping themselves from engaging in certain behaviors. They defy and proudly refuse to obey uncorrupted authority and they struggle to deal with stress. They lose the ability to maintain normal and appropriate psychological defenses, which results in them being in, in making psychological attacks on people by offering contradictory alternatives and criticizing them for choosing either. They will manipulate you by putting you in lose-lose situations because they're trying to convince you that you are defective. And yet they will make it sound very logical and practical when it actually makes no sense. It only serves to give options that punish the person that they are abusing. Problem solving isn't an option with an emotional abuser because abusers want control, not solutions, which is self-defeating because it acts to defeat its own purpose. And it's just another example of their extreme stupidity because it just leads to them repeating painful situations that happened in the past. And it's what makes them so predictable because their previous, situa their previous actions resemble what they're about to do next. And it may seem as though they have an unyielding or stubborn adherence to their own beliefs or opinions when they're actually in panic. They're unable to associate with other people's hardships, problems, risk-taking, effort and, and originality. Where individuals stretch themselves to improve their character, talents and knowledge because they lack life experience. So they lack confidence in their own experiences and yet they keep repeating their same mistakes. They keep engaging in wrongdoing and improper behavior and they seem to gravitate towards situations that present risk and danger where they do things again in exactly the same way because they have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. Even though they don't have any significant achievements or accomplishments, and they often display an over the top level of energy, mood and behavior, where they hold false beliefs and perceptions, and they take actions that show a lack of care, thought or effort, which is why things often go wrong and they end up looking like con artists because they're incapable of achieving this perfect image that they regard as a characteristic of themselves, which just makes them look stupid. Because with just the smallest amount of resources, they could have achieved a lot more. They could have given themselves the ability and right that they desire to obtain and achieve to a better job, the right connections or more attractive people. The truth is that they deny themselves of these opportunities by refusing to invest and commit. And it's not because they're unwilling to work or use energy. They just display an accepting, unresisting attitude as though it's, un as though it's someone else's fault for not realizing how special they are, even though they didn't put in any effort. In their minds, other people are stupid for not realizing that and they feel no need to justify or communicate what they believe because they expect it to be clear and obvious that they are perfect and superior, 
which really reveals their immaturity and it causes them to be gullible and naive where they are highly susceptible to manipulation because they're pretending to be a lot less abusive and manipulative than they actually are. They're pretending to be naive and afraid to repel other people who may otherwise prey on them. And because they have no core sense of self, they require external regulation to where they have no sense of loyalty to themselves. And they're highly suggestible to the latest trends, fashions and gossips. But without a source of influence, they have no direction because they're heavily dependent on external input, which makes them look stupid. And it's why they always blame other people instead of recognizing their own faults and failures. And the more that they blame you, it reveals that they're really just covering up for something. They're covering up for their own worthlessness, inadequacy, and stupidity. By deciding that these developments of events are beyond their control and that there's nothing they can do about it, which then causes them to become indecisive, avoidant and apathetic, where they are trying to avoid reality because they perceive the world as being antagonistic and confrontational, when the true problem is that they are paranoid and they are trapped in fantasy because they're grandiose and they're seeking attention, which really reveals a lot of their problems, because in actuality they're not very good at manipulating or deceiving people, unless the victim chooses to go along with it. Which is why narcissists quickly and often resort to brainwashing, intimidating and coercing their victims, and not because they want to, but because they deteriorate into these behaviours. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.